are many differences about LEGO The Lord of the Rings than some of the previous games that we've made. The way that we've layered the story events into these locations weaves the story into the hub itself so that you have a, a continuous and evolving narrative as the player progresses. And that's really new, that's, that's something we haven't done before. Sadden King stands alone, not alone. Players who are playing in co-op can work together to solve the puzzles and overcome the encounters we present to them and be rewarded with treasure items, quests and new characters. We are proud to fight alongside men once more. And there's also a backpack system. The player can pick up items during their course of their journey, put it in the backpack. That'll give the player complete new abilities that are not necessarily bound to the character that they are. Part of, of what makes that co-op experience so effective and so much fun is the ability to have the split screen camera and that's going to be very true for LEGO The Lord of the Rings. We're very aware that LEGO is this great kind of vehicle for kids' imagination. You know, when you build with LEGO, you're building the context for the stories and the adventures in your head and we wanted to see LEGO The Lord of the Rings in that way, so we're looking at Middle Earth through a LEGO lens. The game strives to stay true to the original with obviously everything that we're building, we're trying to match as closely as possible to the actual film models. As realistic as we possibly could with Lego bricks, we'll still try to keep that sort of Lego comical feel to it the same way as, as Lego do in their own sets. It's quite important to us to actually build these properly out of Lego to show everything works. This is basically our Lego Parts library. This is everything that we need to physically build the models. This is a bit of a dream for some people to see a sort of collection of this size. It's a tremendous responsibility to think that many of our LEGO games are played by young players who not only haven't played many video games, but perhaps may have never encountered these stories in any other form. I think it spurs us on to really make sure that we're delivering every epic moment of that story in the, the most impactful, amazing way possible to really inspire players to want to find out more about this world and these characters.